This is hardly surprising, but it's still nice to hear either way. Um, we know Thor, Love and Thunder, if that's not just a wonderful name, uh, directed by Taika Waititi, mm-hmm. is in active development and is the next Thor movie. Well, add another member to the cast as we're going to have Chris Hemsworth, Star-Lord himself, joining the cast of Thor, Love and Thunder. Now, I said this is hardly surprising because it Chris, seemed after... Chris Pratt. Chris it, Pratt. Chris Hemsworth, of course, Chris, is going to be in Thor, Chris Love Pratt. and Thunder. Although, whether he's going to be the main character, I'm not entirely convinced about but that's a discussion for a later day uh chris pratt this is hardly surprising with avengers endgame um they kind of set up as guardians of the galaxy and given that guardians of the galaxy 3 due to james gunn's involvement with the suicide squad which we'll talk about next actually um given that that's an active development we're not going to get the um guardians of the galaxy 3 for a while so this this makes sense my question is do we think th- other members of the guardians of the galaxy will be involved and this cast is already pretty big i'd imagine korg's coming back bro thor jane foster is coming back valkyrie um christian bale whatever he's playing if he's going to yell at another light person um it's <laughs> oh, no <laughs> what role do we think chris pratt is going to have in this and also do you think other guardians are going to show up michael uh, you know, that's a great question. They set it up perfectly at the end of Endgame there and, you know, the Asgardians of the Galaxy, that whole meme. Um, I, I mean, truly, the um, insecurity of Star-Lord standing next to Thor, like, I, I think it's just perfect. Um, and, and, like, they both both have that. So I, I think they could almost be a, a friendly foil to each other. Um, other, other Guardians characters, I, I don't see why not, because if Guardians 3 is way off, I, I don't see why they can't throw a scene in there, maybe even post-credits or something. I, I'm not sure um, where they can maybe um, uh, finally tease. Well, well is uh, what was – I'm so Ray sorry Bill? here. What, yeah, well, that's, that's hilarious. Beta Ray what, Bill. What, Beta Ray Bill. What was – was it Indian Guardians 2 that they teased Black Adam? Black Adam is DC. That's the rock. Oh, excuse me. You're thinking of That's um, the... Adam Warlock. Adam Warlock. Excuse yes, that was Guardians. So I don't know if they would. Thank you. Uh, and uh, sorry, I'm so I I know I lost all the all the respect I just I just had. I gained a little bit. It's all gone now. I apologize. Yes, you get the, um, like the one of the few Adams in comics. You get them mixed up. Hey, okay, I'm sorry, Mr. Since, you know, Chris Adam Hemsworth, is Chris com- Pratt, man. Why okay. is why is Adam just not very common? I can only think of like Black Adam, Adam Strange. Adam Warlock. That's about it. I can't think yeah, of anybody I, I got, else. I got nothing there. So, and I so maybe they're going to tease that. I, I would, I would put more money on the more Guardians showing up. But I think the wild card there is, is potentially. I mean, this is a, a Thor film, but I don't think it's going to have any any implications. If anything, I think Chris Pratt's going to be there because of his kind of rivalry with. Thor. Uh, I don't think the rest of them because it would just be such a crowded film. It would be basically an Avengers movie at that point if the rest Which, of the Guardians were there Marvel, as supporting characters. Marvel clearly is not opposed to larger scale, just everyone. No. Like Captain America Civil War is basically Avengers 2.5. Yeah. Um, my hope is with Thor and Love and Thunder, now with Star-Lord in it, we get more galactic like we did with Ragnarok. Of oh, Get sure. us away from Earth, but also hey, Disney... You do now have some recently acquired galactic-related Fox characters. If you would like to um, maybe throw a Silver Surfer in the mix, I would not complain in the slightest. Um, oh, yeah. Um, do you, now, now, question. I, I, I do need to ask you these two things. I actually don't know where you stand. One, do I have to go back to Adam Warlock? Was that a tease? Was that something that maybe got scrapped when James Gunn was, was fired? Or do you think that no. is the play for, think, for Guardians 3? I think that or, is the play for Guardians 3. Okay. Okay. And then, then what, what is your, what is your overall impression of like, like Thor love and thunder, what the rumored storyline is and the bringing back of Jane Foster's character? I'll be honest. Aside from Captain Marvel, there's no character in the MCU. I hate more than Jane Foster. I hated Natalie Portman's Jane Foster so much, and that's why I like Ragnarok so much, is we got away from the Earth bullcrap um, mm-hmm. and got away from her. That being said, I trust Taika Waititi as a director. So if there's anybody that could make 
Jane Foster work. It's either Taika Waititi or maybe the Russos, but the Russos never touched Jane Foster. They never... No. They, they never had her know. in a cameo in Endgame, but that was pre-existing footage. Um, sure. I trust Taika Waititi as a director. So if anybody's going to make her work in my eyes, it's going to be her. Also, we're not going to dip into spoilers here, but if they go the route that's so heavily rumored for Jane Foster of what happens to her in the comics, it's going to be really, really hard to not root for that. If Sure. If you still don't like Jane Foster after the route that they take the character in this one, you, you're going to kind of come off as a horrible person. <laughs> uh, again, without saying too much, this could be what, re- not redeems, but makes Jane Foster an interesting character, at least for me, because as it stands right now, Thor has some of the worst characters. Besides Thor, I hate Jane Foster, but I also hate Darcy. She's just the worst. I, I roll she, my eyes she's hard. She's not when coming back, she, is she? She's coming back for WandaVision. Oh, is she? That's interesting. Okay. Um, but yeah, I hope, and I wouldn't be surprised if we get some teases for future things. I maybe Silver Surfer is too early, but some form of maybe some newer toys that we just got in the toy box recently. Um, we'll see. There's a lot of interesting rumors out there. And I think that's, what's so exciting about the MCU right now is there's just a lot of interesting routes and things that could be bubbling underneath the surface that we don't even know about. Like, we know a Mahershala Ali Blade movie's coming soon. There's been rumors for a while of uh, Namor, the Submariner, who is um, referenced kind of in Endgame. Um, There has been some rumors, I don't know if I buy them, but I would love to see it, of some Ghost Rider Easter eggs. Mm. Um, Fingers crossed, I would... I would find Kevin Feige and give him a hug if they cast Keanu Reeves as Ghost Rider. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I would, that's very interesting, actually. Not even something I even consider because you're right, all these you know, heroes, I mean, we've already seen you know prior iterations and not done in the best of ways, but um, that would be, that'd be pretty amazing to put all that together. Um, wh- question real, real quick is speaking is kind of bringing it back to the immediate. What is, what is the tentative release date for love and thunder? Uh, I think it was supposed to be next year, but right now I know one of the issues that I'm having with this, uh, pandemic is I don't know when anything's coming out anymore. And movie release dates are my actual schedule of like, I know what time of year it is based of what movies are coming out soon. I think it's sometime 2022. I can't okay. remember if it's a summer or a fall 2022 release, but yes, 2022, I believe, is the new release date. They're still in the pre-production phase. Uh, they, I thought I heard they were filming, but I'm not sure. I'm not currently like 100% up to date with Love and Thunder like I am with like Uncharted or the Batman production. 